What's up guys, Triple C here. Welcome to my next tutorial. This is tutorial number 34. And in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make single line barge spirals like you see in this one right here. Uh, or you can also do this with any other prop, by the way, with containers, with trailers, whatever. And this is something people ask me a lot how to build them. And it's actually very easy. It's like regular barge spirals, only it has a small intricacy to it. And um, Or what you can also do with these, for example, like in this example, like you see, um, you can just use a few of those in your template and that way you can make the wall right tilt at real funky angles Like it wouldn't go naturally if you just continue building it. But yeah, without further ado Let's jump right into it and I'll show you guys how to do it All right, so here we go um, What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place down one barge first and then we're gonna tilt it in two ways uh, in order to get myself a spiral template for spirals going up and spirals going down. So first I'm going to make a template of this here to tilt it in both directions. Okay, create template. Got it. And now what I'm going to do, I think with the train car it's pitch. No, it's also roll. Okay, so I'm going to tilt it 45 degrees approximately in this direction and then the other one I'm going to tilt 45 degrees in the other direction okay now oops slowly camera now we're going to continue with containers or it doesn't matter uh, like use whatever prop you like I'm just doing it with the containers here and now to get like a smooth spiral you want to have at least two container lengths if you if you go shorter than that it will get tighter and tighter which also does result in um, having a too tight turn, it can be scratchy, and can also happen that your car just uh, spins out, basically, that it's slippery. So we're just using these containers here to uh, gauge our distance. And like in a regular barge spiral, we're also got a tutorial of, you can look it up in my tutorial section, we're actually using containers or cabins as base props to do the circular function with placing the props. But what you have to do in these single line container, um, uh, single line barge spirals, or also if you do this with a container setup, which you could also do, you could also build this whole thing as a container wall ride, for example, as a container spiral, then your base, uh, then your, not your base prop, but the prop you would be um, using as second one in your template would be your container, and you would actually also only place it at a 45 degree angle and do the same stuff I'm doing here. So just exchange the barge with any narrow prop, you can easily do that. So, um, but the difference I quickly want to show to you, in a regular barge spiral, we're working with a container, and then later when we're placing the template, we're always doing this here, so the increase of height between the two props is always one container height and you can't do that in these single line spirals because they're just too narrow and it will result in a bumpy spiral which you just spin out immediately so what i use in this one is the medium wooden box if you go over to boxes and crates uh flick it to the right a couple of times here you got the medium wooden box just to show you the height difference here also medium wooden box and what you can also do it will be really smooth then you can also use the small wooden box but you're going to use up a lot of props with that so um, the medium wooden box is okay um, you'll get a really good result with that one but also like if you see these very smooth spirals in some of the races they're built like with a very low prop like the small wooden box for example but like I said, they take up so many props, so it's always whatever you're going for. Okay, now we're placing this medium wooden box as a base prop. And I'm going to make templates out of this. Medium wooden box first. I first got to take these in my template to get over there to the barge. Once I got the barge selected, I'm going to remove these with square again. So I only have the medium wooden box and the barge in the template. Now I'm going to do the same for this one here. Take the medium wooden box, take these to get over to the barge, take these out with square, and save your template. And now we're good to go. Now we can easily, quickly build our barge spiral. And um, notice how I can see the barge good now, but if I turn over here, it's going to be in the shadow. As you see, it's all black now. So when you're building this, always be sure that you're building in the sun 
where you can actually really see what you where the things are connecting. So now I'm gonna place down this one box and oh wait, I should have started from this side if I turn in this direction. So wait, where's the shadow? Shadow's here. Now I can start to see again. So top down view. Never turn your camera now. You always keep your camera steady. And you just turn the props with R1 and L1. And now always make them connect exactly where the barges converge on the upper side, basically. And I'm rushing it now, obviously, take your time. So this is, I mean, this has also been broken for one year now. With, when Cunning Stunts got released, they broke the templates that they rise when you place them. It was an absolute pain in the ass and totally unnecessary. Also, I don't give them any credit for fixing it after one year because it's a five minute fix and it took them one year to do. Um, first of all, it shouldn't have been broken in the first place. And second of all, they should have just immediately fixed it. It's just one line of code. so. Yeah, um, but now finally after one year this works again and the template will actually place where it's indicated on the screen. Like I said, I'm rushing it now, but here you can see the result already. Looks pretty good actually. And now um, you can also turn in the other direction with the other template we just built. It's the same process, of course. Let's just quickly rush it here. Uh, this one was good. But yeah, you get the idea. Just take your time with it, zoom in a bit. Just never move your camera because then you're not on the center point anymore. So yeah, one of these spirals is going up and the other one is going down actually. And that's always tricky to get right in your head. I think, wait, let me see. This one is going up. Yeah, the left one is going up and this one is going down down actually so yeah um now you got your templates and of course you can just keep on building this make this all the way circular then you got a complete spiral like in the first race you saw in the beginning of the video but if you're just going to use small connectors like this um now you can just um make yourself a new template of this i'll take a cement bag here quickly demonstrate it and just build like a random contraption there so now uh, cement bag first or anything for that matter it doesn't matter what your base prop is okay now we got ourselves our template here should we also make it one of this yeah come on let's go because um i want to show you something with when you connect these what you gotta really um, pay attention to because otherwise it it might look good on first instance, but later when you're in the race, you'll see, oh my god, this angle doesn't work out at all. So this, like a small trick, it's basically self-explanatory, but I'll just show it anyways. So now I've got these two templates here. And now imagine if we would be building a wall ride. And let me just say this is a kind of an ascending wall ride. And now we want to make it tilt in another way. So now we can start uh, connecting one of our spiral templates. So, oh wait, those are our base templates. So this one is going down, I think. I would, what should we do it with the one going up? <coughs> uh, wait, should, with the one going up, of course I should have had my base prop look i placed it down there at the bottom i should have had it here actually because that's also where we're going to connect but yeah um anyways you'll figure that out easily it's self-explanatory i'll just do it with the other one now just to keep this short because once you're here you can basically go from it on your own so now basically you want to connect this to the wall right and now we got to tilt it in exactly the right direction and now so yeah, this looks pretty good, you think, but actually later, if you look from other directions, it's a catastrophe, you know, it, does, it will not work. So what you always got to do, always align your first barge in the template with the last barge of the wall ride. Try to get these exactly the same. So my first barge in the spiral template should be tilted exactly like this barge, the last one in the wall ride. So now I would just first go with this direction and here you can see that this one is still going steeper than the barge, so I'll tilt it down a bit. Now this looks pretty good, as you see. If I'm looking at the upper side of the barge, 
in that direction they're already the same. Now I gotta take it from the roll perspective and try and line my barge up with that. And now you see I got a very sharp angle, so now if I yaw it, but all the other directions always change, you know, so that's always tricky. Once you change one direction, it will have influenced the other one too, so you always got to go back to all the other ones until you get it exactly right. Now we're going to roll it down a bit again. And now I'm getting closer and closer already. If you see this first barge in my spiral template is almost exactly the same as the first barge, uh, as the last barge in the wall ride. Tilt it down a bit more, but yeah, anyways, take your time with that, that you're really, that you got it spot on, because that way you'll have a smooth transition. And now I can basically just start connect, connecting them. Like if I would have really built this for a race, I would have taken more time now doing that actually. But since it's just for demonstration purposes, I connect it like this now. So basically now we're completely changing the angle of the wall. And now you can play around with it, see where your wall goes. Maybe take three out again that you only have like six in the turn, you know. And now you can, for example, reconnect your wall right again and just be creative with it, you know. And like here also the same again. First line it up with the last barge in the template. As you see here now on the upper side we're basically safe here. Now if I look at it from this direction, this is a catastrophe, so we're going to pitch it now to get it exactly at the same height. Look at it from different angles also, you know, don't just look at it from the front. And of course you can't see the whole barge, but you always have reference points, you know. So now I'm just going to take the red um, upper part of the barge and see if it sinks in the black part of the barge. And then I'm going to tilt it accordingly. So as you see it will, yeah it's pretty much straight, but anyways just mess around with it until you get them exactly the same, because that way you'll have a natural transition between the two. And now you can just connect your wall again, I'm just rushing it now, so yeah, there, and then you can just connect all these spirally pieces. Um, one more thing, if you are building a spiral, like if you're going a full revolution for example, you will be above 30 props and uh, there's a method for that how to move a template which is bigger than 30 props i'll link it down there in the description um right now because templates are still broken they actually fixed the issue with rising templates but it's still broken that rotation gets reset which basically hinders us to do this technique i was talking about to move the bigger than 30 props templates and that's also something I doubt that they will ever fix because I just don't think they know their content creator well enough to know what they actually even broke there and what effect it has. So um, I also found a workaround for that which is pretty iffy, it's really annoying but I will link that video down there in the description um, so you guys can work with that workaround and move like a whole spiral and connect it to your walls because that way it will connect smooth. So yeah, that was it guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I could help out. Let me know in the comments what tutorial I should do next and I'll check you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.